reflecting on not having kids. A topic inspired by the YouTubes. Dan Pena chopping up firewood. <coughs> In the previous video, I mentioned the the three questions that Dan Pena said uh, to bring, to bring up to your parents, and those are questions that uh, I would fear as a parent. <clears throat> and the question that that I would fear most is, and Dan Pena mentioned was, do you want do you want me to grow to be just like you? I wrote that one down. Because it, it is annoying when people tell me, man, you should have kids already. Well, why don't you have kids already now, man? What's wrong with you? And I tell them, I've said it more than once where I said, man, could you imagine if I had a son or a daughter or a baby tranny or whatever, 92 genders, I mean, 72 genders there are. And they were to say, my dad, I wanted to start a business, a lemonade stand. I want to sell shoes. Oh, I want to go to this country and let's say I'm not well read and I don't know about the country or I've never been to the country and my, my kid really wants to go no and I could just see the disappointment uh, in their face <clears throat> Oh man, well, why, why should I bother asking him, you know, what does he know, what, what has he been through? Or if I just um, was blue collar, and again, there's nothing wrong with just being blue collar. But you say that you're blue collar and you're as, um, and, and to claim that you have a, as much control of the universe as Thanos with the Infinity Gauntlet? No. And <clears throat> and I, I think about my childhood a lot. And I think a lot of people are like, man, you need to get out of that. Uh, you, can't, you got issues or you can't think like that. And they say, nah. I remember one chick. This amazing person. Sweet, sweet girl, man. With a big heart. Huge heart. Um, she was telling me about her childhood. And when something bad happened to her during her childhood. Um, she was raped as a little girl. And it pains me. It worried me and disappointed me that the same people that were around her that allowed that pretty much created the opportunity for such a um, such a thing to happen to her. you know oh well whatever man it's like you know I'm, I'm, I'm busy oh you can't blame the mother because you know she's busy at work you can't blame the dad because you know he, he's got to work too and um well, they're divorced now, and well, she shouldn't have been raped by that person. That person should have known not to rape. You know, <clears throat> you know. In theory, I should be able to um, 
across the street when it's green 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 light when it's the, the little green man shows up on the on the light thing in theory I'll tell you more than once more than once when it turned green I stopped <laughs> looked both ways and I didn't cross because I knew that um, there was a motherfucker I don't know on the phone distracted drunk or sleepy that was gonna fucking hit the brakes at the intersection not 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 behind the the a crossing line, lane or line on the ground, no. And um, you know those those just the a crossing line. That's what it's there for, right? Signal, keep order at the at an intersection, at the crossroad. But you know that that isn't the case, man. And, and just seeing people just say, oh, well, well, you know, it's, it's, well, what happened? Well, that's just as, just as common or just as big of a problem as forgetting to buy eggs um, at, at the market and, and coming back home to serve breakfast. <laughs> I'm like, no, 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 no. No, it's not. And what's well, funny that. Well, a bit funny, a bit pathetic, a bit disappointed, a bit depressing, a bit. It angers me that. Oh, well, you see, well, who's saying it? <clears throat> it's the mother, it's the father, it's the parents, it's the step parents, it's the counselor, it's whatever. Well, that's the past. I'm like, no, no, come here, let me rape you. And then let me let me run away and then. You can catch me tomorrow, and then uh, tomorrow I'll say, oh, well, you know, that's the past. You know, why why, why, why you want to call the cops? Why you want to bring it up? Why don't you uh, trust me? Why don't you um, give me $1,000? No. Yeah, I've seen people just, uh, yeah, oh, well, you know, that's the past. Now, now we know better. And, and it's the same, uh, you know, guard that is down the, you know, just, uh, oh, well, it, it'll work itself out. Um, it won't happen again. I hope it doesn't happen again. I pray it doesn't happen again. Was my train of thought because eventually I just had to step away from such people and well when you care for someone so much it's hard to step away from them but when you know that you know there's a potential landmine or a bomb or just catastrophe uh, lurking lurking ahead you know, like, you don't you don't want to be around that I don't want to be around that yeah but you see man you're supposed to um, be there for people like <laughs> no Yeah, the question is, do you want me to grow up to be just like you? And, and you know what? And, and I keep on going in life because all the things that I've learned, keeping your guard down, everything's going to work out for itself. Or just, pr just pray. Don't worry about action. Just pray. It, it'll, it'll happen. Oh, 
Yeah, so that the questions from uh, Dan Penny is really uh, got to me. Because it made me think, yeah, well, here's a good thing I don't have kids to, you know, to worry about. To think about mm -hmm. things they have already this and that accomplished. And because it seems, again, parents just, parents and step parents or single parents just, eh, hey, whatever, man. I already told the kid, uh, look twice if we cross the street. Well, that's good enough. The video that got to me was when I was watching this um, this video on chopping wood. It was uh, it was a dad showing showing his son um, how to cut wood, split it, and then how to store it so that it could dry and uh, burning burn cleaner. But what got to me was when uh, he brought it to his son, and the son was uh, was helping him out. Um, you know, I could tell that it took more than I think the video was thirteen minutes long, but I could tell it took longer than that. And I saw the farm that they were on. I saw that within eyeballs distance. You know, they, if they want to throw a, a football as hard and as long as possible, <clears throat> if they don't have to worry about hitting a, a neighbor's window or uh, or it landing in a, out on the street, <clears throat> and I thought, oh, fuck, man, you know that dad is locked on. You know, he knows that, uh, I'm guessing that he built that fort or got that property considering that uh, he'll be a family man and wanted to um, have a self-sufficient nuclear family, loving family. And, and again, I've seen examples and I've seen way more examples of, of uh, <laughs> I remember one time uh, my friend was, uh, I thought he was just fucking her. He started dating her. So I just figured I'd keep my mouth shut because he was just going to fuck her. And you know, she was a single mom and he's like, you know, it's hard to find nowadays a babysitter for the kids. And I thought, bitch. You're the mother, you're supposed to fucking uh, be the babysitter. The caretaker, the teacher, the role model. <coughs> but she must, must have sucked a mean dick for, for him to uh, stay around. He replaced her a few months later. Relieved. I was relieved about that. But yeah, seeing that, I've seen, seen so-called moms, so-called dads just, uh, you know, be concerned about taking selfies, post them, and not just keeping photos for them. So one day, kid, you could grow up and, and remember that, that, uh, we had a break after winning so much, after studying so hard, after competing. No, it's more like, uh, well, let me just attempt to show the neighbors, my people at the barbecue, my coworkers that that I'm, that I'm eating steak today. That we're a big, happy family. I'm like, no, dude. No. Like I've seen the kid <clears throat> help the dad. Um, I'm always expecting the kid to, to stop again because they've seen it. To say, oh my goodness, it's so hot. After two minutes of work, 
Oh my goodness, I need a break. Well, let me check my phone and see if anyone called me or if anyone posted something funny. I thought, yeah, that, kid, that kid's locked on, but I'm, I'm guessing that the, the mom would be just as amazing. Because the kid is uh, organizing the wood and just getting it done. Getting it done. But yeah, I thought, yeah, you know, I'm very lucky I'm not going to have that. <coughs> And I could have said, yeah, you know, I could have impregnated this chick, you know, in fucking last week, a month, or in the past, and have had that. I could have had that. I'm like, no, no, no. I think it was the one spastic bitch who fucking complains. I'm thinking, no, 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 no. Who doesn't lead by example? You know, well, we'll tell you, hey, you need to get this and that done. But I want to invite you to her home for coffee or tea or say hey you need help with that you need a hand with that let me know if you need a hand with that said it's more like well this has to be perfect i'm like what the fuck but she's a bitch so um she's a woman so i guess she can get away with that sort of shit <clears throat> there the question is do you want me to grow up to be just like you and uh yeah, the things that I mentioned on this channel here, yeah, these are things that I've discovered, man. Uh, shit. No doubt if, if I had not earned that title. If, uh, you know, I'm if I'd be, if I'd be like that last <laughs> episode of Rick and Morty when we look into that cat's mind. And, like, and Rick and Jerry get scared. If I was to see an alternate version of the universe where where I didn't join the Marine Corps and to top it off Hillary Clinton becomes president and uh, I don't like being warm and fuzzy yes I could be I could come like this <clears throat> hey guys look check this out look I got a, a pencil extender um, look, check it out. Now we can use this blue here. It's going to be so much fun. Look at this. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. This is amazing. Look. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Look at this. This is um, Rick Sanchez with the symbiote suit. Oh my God. This is amazing. What are you guys drawing today? And, and, all right, cut. That's enough of that. And, uh, you know, props to people that are, are generally either that good or that naive. <clears throat> In most cases, I see people that are just naive that way, that act, that act like that. Scarce is a person that's wholeheartedly just have a huge heart, man. Well, yeah, I have to say that I'm not uh, warm and fuzzy, man. That it's my comfort zone, my standard of mediocrity that uh, <laughs> that I've learned to. Um, to see as normal in the civilian world.
But yeah, I'll mention those things that are that get me on the back, um, that distract me, that make me ponder because <clears throat> I think no doubt that we we all have ideas or situations, circumstances, external factors that, that later become internal splinters that uh, cast doubt on in our minds. Um, And I'm here because anyone could show you whatever color in with blue. Keep doing this. Once you're here, you just fucking um, uh, smudge it with this smudge tool so that it uh, doesn't spread and flick all over the place. And spread smear colors all over the place. Smear different colors and darker lighters and fuck up your piece. <clears throat> Emerson I'm getting a lot of downvotes uh, recently, a lot of uh, negative comments on my Kobe videos. I'm like, Kobe died doing what he loved, hanging out with white people, far away from the hood. And it's funny that, funny and pathetic that these, uh, that these comments only reinforce my, uh, my belief. Because people say, well, 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 man, well, he grew up in the suburbs. Well, of course, man, if you tell me if you're rich, you're going to go hang around the ghetto, the hood. And I say, well, I thought Kobe was part of the community. So, or this proves that um, Kobe felt unsafe around the poor and ghetto people. Poor blacks and ghetto Mexicans. <clears throat> you know, there's, there's all sorts of tribes, you know. It could be my skin color, not just by language, but by accent, interest. And to me, I'm all fine with that, man. Just thought, motherfuckers. Get after it. Go forward. Start your own YouTube channel. Share your story. Trump, twenty twenty. 